Pokemon Go has been out for over seven and a half years. And today we're gonna check out my Pokemon collection from the year 2016. Yes, I've been playing the game for seven and a half years and we're gonna check out some really ancient and old Pokemon. All right, so hi, hi to all of you guys. So yes, first things first, let's go to bring my screen up and there's a rocket ground over there. Am I tempted to fight? No. Um, it just appears so we got 30 minutes, so all good. Anyway, I'd like to show you guys that if you guys check out my buddy Pokemon, alright, you guys can see over here, I'm going to type 4 star, La Vesta. I hatched a La Vesta, Hando La Vesta. When uh, we were doing a little bit of tour um, yesterday, we actually went to Meta headquarters, we went to Google headquarters, we went to even the visitor center for uh, Apple, and I hatched this when we arrived at the car park for Meta. Or Facebook and yeah I got the egg from Santa Clara thank you very much for uh, coming out guys the community in Santa Clara I hatched it when I was in Mellow Park Menlo Park mm, yep so this is a rare hatch man and uh, that's after 44 uh, hatches I think it should be maybe 40 I think I did trade for about four La Vestas so I'm very lucky to actually get the Hando within uh, less than 216 hatches because it's supposed to be 1 in 216 chance to get the Hando. Alright, so that's that. But uh, today, we are actually going to check out my old Pokemon, my year 2016 Pokemon, correct? So, how do we do that? Well, for those of you who actually do not know how to use uh, the search string, one of the search string that you can use because uh, you, can search, you can tap on more over here. I will show you guys how to do it. You can tap more, you can scroll down, you can see some examples. Uh, now I think I've given some examples like Hatched, Lucky, Legendary, Purified, Shadow, Shiny, da da da, this and that. You can even search for 4 star, 3 star, 2 star, da da da, like 4 star here, like this, like what I did just now to show you guys my Hando La Vesta. Alright, and then uh, other ones like the regions, etc., and even the Pokemon typing, and uh, nothing else. So, of course, there are other ways to search for it. Example, if you type year 20, 20, it will show you Pokemon that you caught from the year 2020. Every Pokemon you guys can see is all caught from the year 2020. Alright, 2020. And this one is also 2020 and 2020. So we, since we are sorting by recent, we'll be seeing the ones that's caught from December. Then we slowly scroll down all the way to the very bottom. This will be from January. There. Alright, so 3rd of January 2020. This very recent was caught and it's a 98% IV. There. I can see it. So anyway, uh, we're going to go into 2016 now because we want to check out my oldest, oldest, oldest Pokemon. So like I said, I've been playing Pokemon Go since uh, 2016. I started on August uh, 2016. I can show you guys over here. Yep, August uh, 2016. And actually, it's supposed to be 7th of August, but because of time zone difference, when you actually uh, go from uh, the Asia Pacific region to come to America, you actually uh, have a later time zone that it actually shows... Uh, one day later or one day earlier in a sense you know so actually if I go back to Singapore it will show my start date as 7th of August 2016 okay that's a fun fact for you guys for those of you who, uh, who have never like gone uh, you know in, from one country to another country with different different time zones all right it changes the start date too anyway uh, let's go ahead to here we're gonna type year 2016 okay so these are all the Pokemon that I've caught. We're going to start off the very first Pokemon that I've ever kept. Alright, not ever caught, but ever kept. Because uh, my starter Pokemon is clearly gone. I chose Charmander because uh, Charmander is uh, my favorite starter of all the three starter from the Generation 1. And in fact, when I played the Game Boy uh, back in 1998, the raid version, I chose Charmander as my first Pokemon too. So anyway, we're going to check out the very first one, and that is my Dragon. It's a 98% Dragon. It's my first ever, um, I guess, a Dratini that I evolved. It's not my first ever Dratini caught, but it was first ever Dratini that I decided to evolve as a 98%. Kept that till today. I will never ever trade this away because I just have a little bit more sentimental uh, feeling towards this than actually my starter Pokemon. I'll be very honest with that. Okay, but I did not power this up to level 50, so not, 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 not ever. Never. All right. This feels like my starter Pokemon actually. Higher IV than a starter Pokemon too because starter Pokemon, they'll all be 10, 10, 10. 
Don't believe me? Check. Check uh, in your storage if you still have it. If you still have it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to check out the next Pokemon. That's my first Hundo that I kept. Uh, of course, I transferred away a lot of Pokemon when I was grinding back in the days. This was caught on the 6th of September. And like I said, I started on the 6th of uh, August. Kind of weird for me to say that, but it's technically supposed to be because I'm in America right now. Um, yeah, 6th of August. But I started one day late actually. So uh, this is the first Hundo. And this Hundo was caught as a Seedra. Right, the pre the pre evolution of this Kingdra, and we were at the grind spot at Alkang four zero one with four Poké stop there. Suddenly, one of my friends was doing the appraiser, and he's like, "HP attack defense." The old appraiser system doesn't go like this. That shows you a bar. Literally, Candela, Spark, or Blanche will appear at the bottom, and uh, actually no, there was no the, your leaders will not appear. Or you'll just put there uh, whether your Pokemon is a wonder, is the best, or for um, Valor. I can't really remember, but best is basically for Spark or Instinct, and then uh, for Wonder it's Mystic. And when they show HP, Attack, Defense, and they say a certain line, it means it is 15, 15, 15, which is basically a Hundo. So that's how people actually knew, and that was a very, very, very old appraisal system. Yeah. So anyway, this is uh, Akanai, my first uh, Hundo that I hatched. Alright. It's a hatched Hundo, and it shows the location, Real Venomy, Ten, uh, Finland, because I was over there with my family for a vacation. If you guys don't believe me, go ahead and check out my Instagram. I do post pictures back even in 2016 that I go overseas to actually play Pokemon Go. I even went to Russia, to St. Petersburg and Moscow to actually play Pokemon Go. That was where I actually hit level 38. I actually do have photos over there. Yep, I did not spoof for this. Why would I spoof for Hundo Growlithe, right? Okay, and this was hatched. But however, the old system, it doesn't show an egg over there. It shows a Pokeball. Alright, that's the fun thing for you guys to also uh, take note. But uh, let's check out the next one. This is Mr. Mime that I caught in St. Petersburg when I was over there in Russia. And this was my first ever uh, technically regional Pokemon. I was very excited to get this. At the point of time, my younger brother actually, he plays Pokemon Go too. And we're actually going around to search for Pokemon together. Eventually, he stopped playing the game after a few months. But, you know, I'm still here playing the game, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, the next one is going to be the Hundo uh, Magic Cup, which then I evolved into Gyarados, which is my first one that I actually got. And uh, you know, as and when, when I'm playing with my friends, sometimes they will say, hey, there's a Hundo here, or there's a Hundo there. So I'll go with them to actually hunt for the Hundos together. That's how I actually uh, am able to get a lot of Hundos. Even back in the days, Needle Queen, right? First Needle Ren, that was the Hundo. Right, next one is the uh, Execute, Executor that I evolved. Yeah, all these are really, really old Pokemon All right, that I've kept because uh, they're all Hundos. And of course, uh, I did trade for quite a number of them away because certain people actually uh, asked me for my old Pokemon. I do trade them away, but now I've already kept all these 59 Pokemon that I don't think I'll ever trade them away. First ever Hundo Dragonite, which I could have powered up to level 50 instead of the other Dragonite, but uh, it's fine. All right, uh, Hundo Jolteon over here. So yeah, in Singapore, because there are so many players, even till today, there's about 40 to 60,000 active players till today, today, right now, all right? Active players monthly, uh, I would say that um, we actually keep in close connection with one another. So when a Hundo actually does appear, everybody will just alert one another. That is how, uh, you know, efficient it is, I guess, in Singapore. Uh, Snorlax, 98%. Pretty happy to get this as this was one of my best Snorlax uh, at a point of time. Or should I say best Snorlax at a point of time. I used it to uh, guard gym and uh, whatsoever. So Raihon, got it up into Rhyperia or so. I did not power this one up to level 50 or so. I should have done it to this, but maybe next time. Alright, uh, Vaporeon again. So you guys can see I caught kind of like a handful of Hundo EVs. Remember at that point of time, there were no Shinies. There were also no Generation 2, Generation 3, la da da Pokemon. So basically, we are all only looking at Generation 1 Pokemon. If you guys see a Generation 2 Pokemon, means I hacked the game. If you guys see any Shinies, also means I hacked the game too. I hacked Niantic server. Okay, uh, right now in today's video. Just for today's video. Alright, we got Caesar, which is from... S yeah, this Generation 2. I did not hack the game, guys. You can evolve the, the Scyther, okay, into, into, into this. Yeah. So this is from Generation 2, but of course, uh, it was a Scyther first. Then you evolve into a Caesar. Alright. And then uh, next one is another EV again, another EV again. And then Snorlax, this was the first ever Hundo Snorlax that I caught. Alright, everyone just notified each other and then we went after the Snorlax. I remember going crazy for this. We actually drove all the way to the north uh, part of uh, Singapore. We were grinding halfway and suddenly this appeared. We actually went after it. After my friends notified uh, us about it. 
All right, Hando Caesar again, a sighter. At the point of time, you know, uh, because I heard from my friend who actually played the main series game, he was telling me how good Caesar is as a Pokemon. So in the main series game, he told me say that because of it having access to Bullet Punch, Rules, and even a uh, Swords Dance, that's when it, you can just keep on boosting and healing up with the rules to actually uh, um, use it to recover your health and then once you are ready use the bullet punch and it is a, a faster move in a sense it is a turn uh, prioritized move and you actually get to use your move earlier and in a way Caesar is very very strong so we actually went after a lot of sighters thinking that it would be the same you know here in Pokemon Go but a lot of things is different as compared to the main series. So first ever Pikachu that I caught, revolving into Raichu, keeping it forever of course, not going to evolve, uh, tr uh, trade it away. Alright, more EVs, more EVs, Caesar is the one that I power up um, to level 40. I should have powered this one up to level 50 though, but actually I do have another one that's ready to power up to level 50, but all good. First, uh, Hando Abra. Alright, evolved into Alakazam. So all these, like I said, they're all really, really old Pokemon. It's just nice to actually look at them again. Executor, at the point of time or so, I was going after a lot of Executors because Executor, as a grass-type grass, grass type attacker, it was the number one. And even Psychic-type attacker was still top tier. But eventually, a lot of things came out and it just got... Alright, the rankings. Alright, anyway, Pikachu with the Christmas hat. This happened uh, during the Christmas event. 16th of December 2016. Happy to get this and the uh, one with the surf also. I think I, I got it. How come I had the surf? Was it the exclusive move or the combi? I can't remember. Or did or maybe I elite I elite charge TM it. Alright, I think this is the last one already, the EV. Lucian again, Flareon. So at the point of time I actually love uh, going after EVs. But I decided to keep uh, and trade quite a lot of them. I mean, not to trade, but evolve quite a lot of them. But uh, you guys can see those are all the Pokemon that. Oh, no, no, those are not all yet. I thought it was all already. I'm so sorry, man. Uh, we're going to continue. Legacy had. This was a traded one from my friend Steve. Uh, no, no, not Steve. Uh, the other one was Steve. But this is Valor Elite. Hey, hey. All right. Actually, the other one I, I got rid of it. Zombie Lex. This was a friend of mine, Zombie Chi. Alright, he traded it to me. So this was when trading was uh, not yet available, but you know, you can see the date when, when it was traded. It was traded in the year 2018. But when you type the year 2016, it shows Pokemon that were caught, not that it was traded. So that's the thing that uh, doesn't show up. So this technically is a caught 2016 Pokemon, but a traded 2018 Pokemon, right? So that's the base, base, uh, basically how it's this like. Likewise for this, it's traded to me in 2018, but was caught in 2016. Kept this, Jake John. Um, this one is from Link, only one Link. Kept this one. This one is the one that I got lucky, and this from Link also. And then this one is from Nick, Trainer Tips. Yeah, he traded me uh, this, and uh, very happy to keep this also. Thank you very much, bros. Zoe two dots, all right. She traded me a Pikachu too, and then a uh, Raichu also traded one. And then uh, I'll just show. You, I have to show you guys the IVs. Do I need to show you guys the IVs? Nah, I don't have to show you guys the IVs. And then my friend Ang Shen, he traded me this too from Singapore. And uh, Adeline, uh, the first ever level forty uh, player as a female player to hit level forty in Singapore. Yeah, she's a good friend of mine, and she's an instinct player. Technically, first instinct to hit level forty too in Singapore. And uh, yeah, next one is going to be this, this uh, go bad, uh, which uh, I kept because this was a trade for the Legacy Move Ominous Win, alright? And then next one is going to be also for Ice Punch or some, some Legacy Move or so, I can't remember. But this is, uh, these are from my brother's girlfriend, alright? And she traded it to me, I asked her, are you okay to trade me this Legacy Move because I need for go battle? And she's like, yeah, tick, tick, tick. I'm like, okay, great. So yeah, she traded to me like a handful of Pokemon, you guys can see some of them were traded even on the same day. Alright, same day or so, okay, and then uh, this one is also, okay, from, from, yes, Fatty Man 101 that's his IGN, you want to know who that is? That is my younger brother, like I said, he started playing in 2016 or so, but eventually he stopped playing the game, and then he said that he, he had this, and I was like, oh wow, we traveled to Moscow, to Russia together, to St. Petersburg for a family trip, he caught this, he evolved it, and he kept it, the Shadow Ball, he traded it to me. After like three years, so I'm like, okay, because PvP came out, I needed the PvP mods for IC win, etc. I asked both my younger brother and my brother's girlfriend to actually trade it to me. Yeah, so anyway, that's that. And then uh, this one is another one, another traded one, and then another traded one from a friend. Traded one from a friend, and Lapras with a legacy move. Right, Lapras with all the legacy move, I asked my friend to trade all to me because uh, she stopped playing the game. And then uh, just Ask her if she's okay to give me all her lap brush. She's like, yeah, okay, take it all. And then my my uh, brother's girlfriend again gave me the 
the legacy move um, power with Tang Tang Tangela. But all this, you know, because of no uh, what do you call that? No uh, elite charge TM. They are all not available at the point of time, so you have to trade for them. And then uh, she actually traveled to Bangkok to actually catch this, and then uh, even traded that to me also. But most of her tra her, her catches should be from Singapore. Should be from Singapore. Yes, yeah, she. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, there. Then she traveled to Bangkok again, caught that. And then let me see. Okay, awesome. Just wanted to see the dates. All great, all good. So this one is another one with the legacy move. Yep. So this one is from another friend. Legacy move again. I think it's much short. Much short was the legacy move, and that's about it. So yep, those are all my 2016 Pokemon, man. Some of them uh, wasn't needed to be shown, especially the ones that were traded. But uh, since they're all part of 2016, I guess I decided to show you guys. But that is all, man. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed watching me show you guys all my 2016 Pokemon. What 2016 Pokemon are you guys left with? Let me know in the comment section down below which is your most prized one, which is your most favorite one, and which is your most, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, lucky one. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. But remember, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and also to subscribe. Thank you. So goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.